Okay, so here we are in Lightbox for the same picture. Uh, it starts off being a, a similar process to uh, Adobe, where you, you click on the sky. Uh, again, I prefer, prefer the more advanced masking for, for this. Um, and, and then uh, we can set our edge. And what we can do, too, is that we can, um, we can inspect what we're doing to see the tree line, which is really the most important issue here. We want to make sure, because remember in Adobe what happened is we got all these sparkles around there and it made it look fake. You can see here we're not really getting uh, those those issues because we can control the mask uh, while we're playing around with it. Um, so now if I want to do essentially what I did in Adobe, I can bring it down and it starts to look a lot more um, natural than it did with Adobe because we were able to really specify what we want with the mask. Um, and so you can see in here, I don't like the fact that it's white in there. Um, let me reselect the mask. Um, actually, I already took care of it just by reselecting the sky. But you can see it's a little, little white in there. So what I can do is I can I can bring the edge out a little bit, or I can uh, change my selection criteria. A whole lot of things I can do to make sure that um, that I'm getting what I want to get. Um, and so now you have something where I guess this is probably about what we did in uh, Adobe where it looks much more natural if you look at the tree line uh, it's still pretty high contrast because of cause what I just did it uh, looks much better and it's still a little white there and so what I can do is I can uh, commit that and then I now I can add to what I'm doing to um, to make sure I get this line I just do another click and there it is all of a sudden that line's gone and now the sky looks that much better um i went a little deeper than i did with adobe i think um, to change the sky and so now it looks very much more realistic um, so you don't really have those problems in the tree line at all and it happened very quickly whereas with adobe it's a much more iterative process and here it's just um, that simple and that's why you don't really need um, the lasso tools, that sort of thing, that, that Adobe paradigm uh, that a lot of people like. And, and so in the clouds, you can see it's going a little too blue. Uh, there's a couple ways I can handle that. Uh, since we're editing in 16 bits per channel, it's easy enough to just apply it um, and, then, um, and then click on the, uh, let me just close it, and then click on the sky again and narrow down the parts of the sky that I want to remove. Um, so right in there, I just really want to remove those shadows um, in there. And what I want to do is I want to get rid of that, that hue and maybe even bring it up a, a, a little bit to make it look much more realistic. Now, if we look at the mask, we can see that... Um, we can look at the mask, we can see it's uh, hitting some of those areas uh, in the foreground that we don't want to deal with, we just want to deal with this area. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is, is you hit what's called the fill brush, and then um, and then just go over the parts that you want. Normally, things are that, that you want are disassociated with other parts, and so I've done that. And now um, all I have to do is uh, just any control and get rid of that. And so now. I've changed the, the foreground to make it look a little more realistic, and then I'm um, basically done. And I close the window, and then there you have, you know.